We're going to do a, a maximizing the revenue product problem. Remember, revenue is how much money we bring in. So a baseball stadium has collected some information. They say normally they can sell 10,000 hot dogs if they charge $4 each. They also realize that if they raise the price, then the amount of hot dogs they sell is going to go down. So based on their numbers, every time they raise it by 25 cents, they're going to sell 500 less. So we're going to start out. We're going to let N stand for the number of price increases. You could also work this problem where N is the number of price decreases, which means they would sell more uh, hot dogs. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and set it up this way. So what is revenue? Revenue is the number of items that we sell, in this case hot dogs, times the price. And that tells us how much money we bring in. Okay. So the, this is going to be changing because if we raise the price, we change the number of hot dogs. So we have a couple little formulas here. The number of hot dogs starts at 10,000. And then every time we raise the price, we lose 500. So it would be minus 500 times the number of times we raise the price. And then the price is going to be, starts out at $4, but then we're increasing it by 25 cents each time. So we have an N there as well. Now, we're going to multiply this out, foil this out. So what uh, 10,000 times 4, there's 40,000. 10,000 times 0.25n, that's going to give us 2,500n minus 500n times 4, so that's 2,000n minus 500 times 0.25. That's 125 n squared. Okay. Now let's rearrange this, put it kind of in the usual order. So our revenue equation is going to be negative 125 n squared. Combine these two terms in the middle, 2500 minus 2000. That's 500 n and then plus the 40,000 on the end. So we've got our revenue formula. And we see it is a quadratic, because we've got the n squared. And we're asked to maximize the revenue. So again, we've got a negative a term. So this is going to have the hill shape. And we're looking for the highest point. So we need to find the vertex of this equation. So. To find the n value of the vertex, we're going to use our formula negative b over 2a. Our b is 500. Our a is negative 125. So we get negative 500 over negative 250. And this time we get actually a very nice answer of just 2. Now let's be careful. This does not mean that we're going to charge $2. This means we're going to increase the price two times. So remember our price formula was 4 plus 0.25n. So to get the price, we're going to do 4 plus 0.25 times 2, which comes out to be we make the most money when we charge $4.50 for our hot dogs. Okay, How many hot dogs will we sell? HD for hot dog. Well, we've got that formula up here. Normally sell 10,000, but we're going to lose some because we raised the price. So minus 500 times 2. So that's 1,000 less. So we can expect to sell 9,000 hot dogs. And so then what will our revenue be? 
Well, revenue is the amount that we're selling, 9000 times the price we're selling it for, $4.50. And so this gives us a maximum revenue of $40,500. So based on the information this baseball stadium has, in order to bring in the most money from hot dog sales, we really need to charge $4.50. We're going to lose some sales, but the extra money we have for each hot dog we do sell will help us reach this maximum revenue 